So my girlfriend just called me before I started recording this and she dumped me. So if you know anybody that's nice and um, made out of wood, uh, please tell them to leave a message for me on my Facebook page. This is Info Puppet and we are doing blending images too. You are going to absolutely love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. And we have Photoshop Elements 11 open up. And PE 10 and PE 12 is work great for. Also, this is the image we're working on. And what we're gonna do is first is we're gonna go right click on the layer and select duplicate layer. And there's our duplicate layer. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and we'll move the image over to the right a little bit. We're gonna go up to enhance. Adjust color and replace color. Now, this box up here at the top is the color that we're going to ask Photoshop Elements to replace. And I'm going to click on the sand. There it is. And now the, bo the box at the bottom is the color I want to change it to. I'm going to click on white. Perfect. Now I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to come down to the lightness slider at the bottom of the window and slide it over to the right. Cool! Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you that, you know, I, that we still have the nice image below. I just select the eraser tool, and I just select the magic eraser tool, and I want the tolerance at 11. Alright, I just left click, and look at that, see what happened to the right leg? We gotta turn the tolerance down! So we're going to bring it down to about 8. And now I'm going to left click and boom, that looks much better. So I'm going to work around this image and get rid of this, this background. And what we're seeing is the image below it. The background of the image below it. Now I'm going to the crop tool because there's too many shadows around the legs there at the bottom. It's going to be too hard for this effect. When in doubt, crop it out, I always say. All right. Now we're going to click on the magic eraser tool and just click the irregular eraser and I'm sliding the opacity to 100% and I'm just cleaning up uh, the rest of this background. Alright. Okay, now we're going to click push down on command and left click and release at the same time PC control and left click and release and look at it, the marching ants are around the image. Now if I click on the regular background image, the marching ants are around my regular image. That's why I'm doing this. Awesome. Okay, we're going to change the magnification from 100% to 300%. Now we're going to go ahead and select the selection brush tool. All right. Now what I'm doing is I'm just um, adjusting the selection, fine tuning it. You know, uh, you hold the option key down to make it smaller and uh, left click and drag or hold the alt key down to make it smaller. To make it larger, just uh, left click and drag as normal. Click on this tutorial here if you want to learn more about the selection brush tool. Okay, looks good. Now we're going to select select and inverse. Now what select and inverse does is it's selecting really all the pixels except the girl. That's why you see the marching ants going around the perimeter. All right, now we're going to go to select, feather, and just one pixel. It's just a small little feather to make this smooth when I delete. Now I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard. Look at that. What we're trying to do here is isolate the girl on white. Now, I don't need this background layer anymore. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to left click, hold, and drag it into the trash. Okay. Now I'm going to select the new layer, and I'm going to drag it below the layer of the girl. Now, you want to make sure white's on the bottom. If it's not on the bottom, click on these buttons over here. 
now all we're gonna do is control delete or command and delete and it fills the layer with white like you just saw now we're going to new save as and we're gonna call this beach girl 5 with white BG for background and we're gonna save it as a PNG that's my favorite file format all right click on OK and there she is isolated on white okay now we're gonna go go ahead and open up the PNG and there it is okay again this is what you need to do to learn this effect is to isolate your person against white all right so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the move tool watch closely I'm gonna left click hold and drag and drag her on to the image of the tree in the lake I'm resizing her and now I'm going to change this from normal to screen and boom that's the effect it is so awesome I'm going to show you some fine tuning though there's some more things you can do we're moving it around to try to find the best spot now I'm just going to select the eraser tool and I'm going to make sure the opacity is really low at 5% and we're going to select the layer of the tree in the lake. And now what I'm doing is I'm erasing the layer of the tree in the lake and her face will start to become more visible. She's got a pretty face. We want to see her face a little bit in this effect. Okay. Looks good. All right, now we're going to change the opacity all the way up to 100%. And I'll show you another thing that you can do here. You can actually create this effect on just a certain part of the subject. All right, let's zoom out a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. So there you go. Now the effect is just on the upper part of the body. You can also do so many things with this effect. It is so cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the crop tool to finish this off and just crop out the excess image and there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment. Thanks again from Info Puppet.